So I wanted to spend a few moments and talk about the process for inserting a watermark into an Excel workbook. Uh, for those of you who have completed this task before in perhaps Microsoft Word, in Word it's a pretty straightforward, pretty easy task to complete with lots of options. In Excel it is not as straightforward as something you may have done before. So according to a previous lecture, you may have noticed that in order to put a watermark to insert a watermark into Excel, you do need to go to uh, the header to header and footer. So I'm going to go to the insert ribbon, and mine happens to be under the text tools, so I would click header and footer. <clears throat> Once I have completed this task, and you will see that my cursor is flashing in one of the three parts of the header, the, there is the left, the right, and then the middle. On the top, I now have a ribbon that is specific for headers and footers. It's contextual, so if I click away from my header and footer, the ribbon no longer appears. However, when I click back in the header, those tools come back. So for my watermark, I'm going to click the option for picture. And from this window, you could opt to insert a picture you have already created. It could be a company logo. It could be some sort of image that you have created and saved as a JPEG or some other photo uh, saving option. I don't happen to have anything saved for this demonstration, so I'm just going to type in some search text and then press enter. And then I can scroll through and look at all the options to see what it is that I would like, which one I would like to use. So I'll select this one, put a check mark there, and then click insert. So now what you will see in my header, um, Excel has put in text here. You can't actually see the picture, but Excel has put in text here to indicate that there is a picture inserted in that header. So if I wanted to see what this is going to look like, I will, I always use keyboard shortcuts when I can, so I'm going to press Control-P, which is a shortcut for printing. I'm going to click. So that's what it's going to look like. So that's probably not absolutely ideal, um, it's sort of at the top of the page. It's very dark red, so if you have any kind of data here, it may be difficult to see the data for the watermark. So I'm going to click back in my header, click in the section where the picture is, and then I'm going to go back to these tools. I'm going to format my picture. So what I can do here is I can adjust the size. Um, for me, it's mostly guessing uh, what size I want it to be. And you can see as I change the height, the width is almost changing because it is going to um, change relative to. So it will be as high and as wide as it needs to be to um, ma maintain the consistency with the original image. So I've adjusted the size. I can go into the picture section, the picture tab, and here I could change the color. So automatic would be whatever color it was when you imported it, but I could make it grayscale or I can make it black and white, or I can make it a washout. For a lot of what you do with a watermark, you may want to make it a washout. So I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that it is, it is there. It has moved. It still may not be ideal, but you can go back into Format Picture. I could continue to adjust the size until I sort of get it where I want it and what I want it to look like. So now if I go in and I preview, I don't have any data, so I'm just going to put my first name in, go in and preview. So that's what it would look like. So once again, it, there isn't really an easy way to do it. Uh, it is not as simple as in Word. It's a very easy process. But once you get the hang of it, if it's something that you find important, it does become easier to do with practice.